Right, we're down the beach. Now it looks pretty calm. They were giving some wind and they were giving it up to 25 mile an hour. Then it went to 40, then it went to 50. Now they're saying 60, 65 mile an hour coming. And basically gale force eight winds with a nine and a half meter tide, which is big, possibly even higher, depending on how, how low the pressure is. And swell up to four or five meters. So for safety's reason, we're gonna pull the boat out. We're going to take it out temporarily, put it in the car park and we'll put it back down when the weather settles. I don't want to risk it because if that wind swings west and it's still pushing hard, it's going to be like hell in here. So yeah, we're not going to take the chance for the sake of just picking it up and putting it on the trailer. So is this a first then, bringing the boat out in July for the weather? August, beginning of August, yep. First time we've ever had to bring Well, I brought it out once in the storm, but I think it was back later in the year. We pulled it up a small boat, but not never never done this before. Wow. That shows you the summer is what they're like now. Yeah. I don't want to risk it, because it, it'll probably be fine. But if that wind turns... Well, it's the tide day, as well. They've been increasing how bad it's going to be. So mm. It's the big tide as well, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to take any chances. So. Right. It's morning. I'm still half asleep actually. We are going down to the boat again. Now it's the next day from when we pulled the boat out. And we're just going to go and have a look at the water because it's high tide soon. It's only going to be about a nine meter. And it, to be honest, it's not that windy. It is windy, but it's not excessive. This is um, supposed to pick up a lot worse tonight, but obviously I can't film tonight because it'll be pitch black. So. Well, I say pitch black, it won't be very light tonight. So let's get down there and have a look at what the water's doing. I don't reckon it'll be that rough. Well, we'll see. I we'll mean... see. It's not as bad as I was expecting. But it's supposed to get worse later. It's the high tide later. That's the concern. Guernsey Summer 2023 Well, we've come down to the beach for the second morning because we heard that uh, one boat went down. I'm not sure if there's any more that have gone down. That's what we come to find out. But it got nasty last night. It's actually calmed down now. They've managed to uh, refloat it by the looks of it. I'll show you the other part of it in a minute. But you'll see the winds changed direction now. We've got a northwest making that side incredibly rough. This is after the storm, wind's dropped out now, but you get the residual leftover of it. But it was a lot worse last night. Not too bad this side, but the wind's changed direction. It's gone northwest now, which is that way. I know one thing, it's going to be interesting trying to find our crab pots. <coughs> if they've moved, which they probably have some of them in this. This is the back rail off the boat that sank last night. 
you can see that the uh, the railings on the side are all bent up where it's hit the ground the engine's been taken off I assume that's had it as well the boat itself looks all right it's been refloated from here anyway from the land I haven't seen it close up obviously it'll have damage to it so just come over and have a look at this boat we're going down the beach actually to see um, if we've got any pots have washed in any of our pots have come up but that's what's left of the engine I'm afraid that is toast it's not an old engine either that's about the same age as the one I've got mine's around 2018 but you can see it's had it huh? you see it's actually snapped clean off the back of the boat but it's a shame luckily the boat has actually kind of survived really the boat yeah the boat's fixable it's a heavy boat though I think that rail that it had around the back because you should see where it was here the rail that was around the back has um, probably saved the boat when it was smashing around on the ground obviously the engine probably came off and was getting wrecked on the floor well it has because you see all the sand in it but no it's um, the boat itself has actually survived sinking but the back end came down you see with the weight of the engine the transducer's all been ripped off and whatever else was on the back but that engine is for the scrap heap now yeah another casualty don't know if anybody's going to come down and check it but you need to get the water out of that it's going to fill up with sand the next thing it's um it's not got a very big rope on it. it's got a couple of ropes and they're not very big we wouldn't be able to turn that over never we? never that way an absolute time you need a baler we haven't got one it's actually split the back of it or it's damaged the back of the boat look surprised the oars are still <laughs> Well, whoever it is has got a chance to come and get it. Next one, next uh, this Saturday coming, there's also another big storm coming. I say big, 50 mile an hour. Well, but it's on a 10 meter tide, that's what makes the difference. It's not the, uh, look at the crab's legs everywhere. A few spiders, bit the dust as well. Bits of boat everywhere, look. Just showing that look what I found on the beach it's, it's a recent death you can see there's still meat in it that was an old lobster that was that's a casualty of the storm for sure massive claw that Anyway, I think it's a good decision to put the boat in the car park. At least it kept it safe. Now we're going to be taking a look at some fishing footage from the other week when we were out. We went out fishing with the rods. We caught quite a few different species. And we're back on the boat for another trip. And any minute we're about to head out and... Uh, well, we're going to go for mackerel again, maybe some pollock. Maybe even try for a bass today. All right, best we bet get going. Let's go to the pot, so we thought we'd give it a quick mackerel go here. And we're getting a few mackerel, not many, but we've got five pushing around the crab pots so far. Six, seven. Yeah. 
They must be smelling it or something, or the scent of it. And here's a few mackerel we've had so far. Bottom, right along the bottom. Yeah. It's got a, it is a little bit of rock in that. There are a few, few scattered spots on there, not big. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, the rest master. <laughs> Cookie rest. Lovely. Mackerel, that one. So we're just fishing here with um, mackerel lines. I've actually got a bit of mackerel as you might have seen there on the seat. And Rebecca's just caught a little top gurney. The top that's like, having a blue on the fin. Yeah. We were talking about top gurnets before. Just Hold on, I've, I've just hooked a fish, so let's see what we got on this one. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> and I've just caught the red gurnard, which is the other species that we get. Funny though, because the red gurnard is normally smaller all the time, but today it's the other way around. So, they're going to grunt at me, they grunt these things. So that's the red gurnard, they're excellent eating. But you want a biggish one like this one. Bring him down from here. This is the tub, you can tell by the blue lines on its fins and they're not always as red as the red gurnard but still lovely fish Put the little one back. And well I'll show you the red one in a second once we've got this tub back over the side tub gurnard are good eating as well but that one's just too small to worry about there we go I'll show the fins yep we'll go back down to the bottom so there he is, the red one. This one will be coming home with us. This is big enough, but they are delicious. Very sweet flavored meat these are. And like I say, the red ones don't get particularly big compared to the tubs. Tubs can reach double figures or nearly double figures. Whereas these, well, a couple of pounder on these are good. But was one of my favourite eating fish. Red gunner. Yeah. And that's a ballon rat. One that the insides are blown. Let me just uh, take the camera out the sun. You'll get a bit of view. That's a ballon rat. You'll see by his eyes and his stomach that his insides are basically blown up with the pressure. They do not handle pressure well, these things. So we'll have to keep him because the damage is done, I'm afraid. All the vessels will have exploded inside his brain, probably. But they literally will be dead if they come up from too deep.
Bit of weight. Yep. Yeah. Bit of weight. Something. I don't think it's excessively heavy, but it's probably got the proud hook or the awkward hook again. It seems to happen to us all the time these days, isn't it? Feels like a heavy fish and then it comes in. Yeah. Come. No, it's just up to the mill. Too bad. That's why we've had trip days, it's not a yeah. job, but not bad, not bad. Especially in the middle of nowhere, and we had the lure out just out in the open there. Rebecca's gonna give that a measure, I think. There's some gloves here, can you some gloves quickly? See what we're dealing with here. Forty that's well over. 43 and a half, 44. That's more than that. Put it back on. That looked like about 45. Put it back on. Nose is on the front, yeah? Oh, that's easy, yeah. That's at least a 44, I'd say. 44 to 45, that one. Yeah, it just shows. Yeah. Nice fish. I say nice fish. We're not, we haven't really caught much this year, so that's why it's a nice fish. Not of any size, anyway. A mark that normally catches horse mackerel, occasionally mackerel. We'll see if we've both hooked up on the mark where we catch. So let's see what we've got. I'm going to call horse mackerel, even though I haven't caught any this year. But well, we had one very early in the year. Bam! There you go, horse mackerel. Ooh, must have lost it over the side then. So that means you've got. Mackerel. <laughs> and a mackerel. Oh, you lost it. You flipped your line and it, it did that. It jumped up in the air and yeah. went down again and came off. You'll see that on the camera. Yeah. There we go, off the bottom. And we're right on the mop because I stopped further up to drift back onto it. Woo! It's going to be blown that one from that depth. Big mackerel and a medium mackerel. Well, a medium and an absolute jumbo. Look at that thing. Look at it. Drop it, look, it's just under the boat. Literally, I didn't even let the line out. Just threw it over and they grabbed it. That's incredible. Literally, they're just under the boat. Uh, snared up somehow. Wasn't even hooked that one, is it? So there we have it. 
a very mixed bag today, so worked out all right. Now I'm going to get home and have a nice cup of coffee.